Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the first wave of the legacy line of the Lux figures and today we're taking a look at Skids! So yeah, I really like Skids. I always loved it since G1 so yeah, of course it was a no-brainer for me to take that one. So yeah, we've got nice art, Beagle mode, nice robot mode here in the back. Uh, 14 steps, okay, I guess. And vehicle, robots, or whatever. Let's stop wasting time with the box. And open this up. And we have instructions and legal stuff nobody reads about. So instructions. Uh, okay. Instructions very simple. Nothing to cry about. You have a uh, how combination works for the weapons. And uh, yeah, transformation. Like the transformation is super easy. Nothing to it. So we have a figure right here first up, uh, it's kind of boxed up in here so we need to put the wings in and pop everything out, there we go. So we got skids right here and the accessories also, so let's pop them out, there we go. Pop this one out too, there. Uh, this one might need, pop it out there yeah, like this, there we go, and the axe. Yep, there you go. So, uh, we got a translucent axe. Not my thing, again. I don't like translucent weapons, but it's the new gimmick of the line. So, yeah, decent axe, that which doubles as a gun. We have uh, a pistol, which is okay, just metallic paint. And we have his other gun like this. So, yeah, uh, they can combine, so you can uh, put this here on underneath and on top you plug this in and there you go we have the sort of combined weapon that the instruction tells us about and we can plug of course in his hand so yeah I'm not a fan of the whole combining weapon thing but uh, yeah the figure itself looks so nice I really dig this they really nice did a nice uh, thing with the skits got a lot of details the, the Autobot logo, the, the krill, the metallic thigh, the lines on the car, very nice looking robot. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> head is on a sort of swivel hinge ball joint thing, so, yeah, can tilt a little bit, rotate, got a big square in the back, but eh, it works. Uh, the wings can move back, uh, the backpack here can, you know, Store a little bit better than the pasture piece, I guess. And yeah, arms uh, rotates at the wheel. Can also go down, rotate here at the wheel. We have a rotation of the uh, bicep, uh, 90 degree elbow. Wrist does rotate, kind of hard, but it works. Got waist rotation. The legs can do the split. Can move the arms can do the split like this. Legs forward. Backward, it's a little bit injured by the backpack. Uh, rotation of the thigh, a little bit all the legs though. That's my main problem, but eh, not that bad. And the knee bends 90 degrees, uh, ankle tilt, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, really love how this kid turned out. He's one of my favorite of the line, to be honest. Looks really good. Uh, we have here for comparison the G1 skid. And we have the Masterpiece Skid. So, yeah, they all look pretty good. I love Skid. <laughs> I also have the Alternator, but he's at my work. So, yeah, on my desk work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's a little bit darker. I mean, he's closest to the toy than he is to the Masterpiece, which is a lighter blue, uh, shades of blue. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, we can go... Oh, we can do a little comparison with his buddies, I guess, so. So, comparison, we have RC, we have Kickback, drag strip, and Skids. So, yeah, pretty cool. I love the set. <laughs> they all pretty much the same size. RC is a little bit uh, smaller. RC really is the weakest link to me. Kickback, I love the G1 look. Skid, I love the G1 look. Drag strip is very nice transformation, and uh, the, the combination that's coming up, I'm really curious about it. So yeah, I can't wait. 
but yeah, it's a very solid uh, first wave so far. Even though RC is not that, you know, it's the weakest link, it's still a really strong uh, first wave. Yeah, I highly recommend all of them, except maybe RC for some reason, but yeah, it's still on a recommend for me. So, yeah, really cool. So, uh, let's get back with the uh, figure. All right, so transformation. Uh, like I said, kind of simple, but it's pretty cool. Uh, first up, turn the wheels on the side like this and bring the panels down like this. Uh, what you want to do next, uh, raise the chest or the hood like this. Bring the arms uh, straight up like this. And uh, you want to rotate them like this. So rotate the arms. Lift it up, bring this like this, and uh, open these up, kind of help. These will go uh, on the other side like this. So the holes needs to be on top, and as you bring the chest down, these will peg onto the chest. So there's like tiny pegs on each side that will peg inside the sort of elbow location so got one got two there you go like this like this as for the waist you bring the waist up like this and the legs down and the waist will lock inside like this you can bring the legs together bring the feet and the, the, the back of the leg will hook on the roof and then you rotate this all the way down and it will encapsulate the arms there you go make sure this is all pegged and bring the doors peg it on the side peg it on the side and make sure this pegs in perfectly Oop. this one doesn't want there you go there you go and there we have it we have the vehicle mold all done and it's a really nice vehicle. I really love this tiny sort of sports car. Love it. It's boxy. Uh, the wheel here, um, the wheels are like a sort of any snap. And this is a rivet. So the rivet rolls real nice. While well, this one has a little bit more resistance. Still a really cool vehicle mode. Uh, we can peg the weapons here, I guess. Or there's like a couple of more pegs on each side. Looks really cool. The only thing again is that compared to the G1, I'll show you it in a few seconds, the wheels are like more sticking out in the G1 and I really love this about the G1 and this one is not. So yeah, it looks more like a normal car as the G1 was more of a racing one. So let's remove this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, comparison with the other ones. So here we have the G1 and the Masterpiece. So yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, the G1 has like the protruding uh, wheels that makes it look more like a racing drag. While this one has like, yeah, the wheels are like flush to the carousery, which uh, although I'm not a huge fan, but uh, yeah, compared to the masterpiece, they even have almost more the same size. Except this one is much bigger in, ro uh, in robot mode. So yeah, pretty damn cool. Really love this. Skids, I love him. <laughs> love his mode. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, Skids, pretty cool. Love him. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite of the line among Drag Strip and uh, Kickback. They're all pretty good. Even RC's okay ish. I mean, she's got her problem, but she's kind of cool <laughs> ish. <laughs> but yeah, I really love Skids. So, yeah, highly recommend for me. So uh, that's pretty much it for me. You know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.